Okay. Okay. Last day. Close. There we go. Gotcha. <gasps> gotcha. 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 That's a big one, guys. Vengo por una migraña que tengo. Se me cerró el ojo. Yes, headaches, migraines, guys. And so she's in really, really bad shape. And how long has it been? Hace dos semanas y siete y tres días. Three days. Two weeks and three days. Two weeks, two weeks, three days, gotcha. And so, um, tell us where the pain is. Donde te duele? En esta parte de la cabeza. Gotcha. And on a scale of one to ten, how bad is it? De una diez, que tan mal está. Un diez ahorita. Gotcha. What has she done to treat this so far? Que lo que ha hecho para poder quitarse el dolor. Tomar pastillas. ¿Qué más? Ah, sobarme. Drink. Take pills, the massage. She has a kidney problem. Tell us about the kidneys mm -hmm. and the diabetes. Del riñón, diabetes, y alta presión. And what's that? What's the last part? Um, high blood pressure. High blood pressure. See how her right eye is closed? Completely closed. How long has your right eye been closed? Gotcha. And so uh, she's been to the doctor to find out if the eye is a problem. She's also been checked out for stroke. Right? We did a whole stroke panel on her. And so a lot of you guys will be like, you better make sure she can get adjusted. I already went through this whole thing. She's had a CAT scan. She had MRIs. And so we checked her heart. Everything's fine. Tell us about dizziness. Mirado. Mm -hmm. sí. Gotcha. And sleep. How's her sleep? Doesn't sleep at all. And then tell about her constipation. Mm. She's got a lot of diarrhea. Quiero vomitar oh, y diarrhea. She's... But she has this diarrhea issue that she had really badly and now it's constipation. She doesn't even think she has constipation, but she only goes twice a week. ¿Cuánto te duele, Espalda? Un diez. Diez? Okay. ¿Te duele, Espalda? Sí. ¿Cuánto? Un seis. Okay. ¿Te duele? ¿Cuánto? No. Yeah, look at her fall, almost fall, guys. Abajo. Okay, any pain? Te duele? Me duele en las dos, las dos partes de la columna. Big imbalance here, 29 millimeter right imbalance, 14 degree scoliosis, and you can see that occiput tilt. Here we have 7 degree curve and constipation. Here we have 103 forward millimeter head carriage and one third atlas wear. And last one, we have arthritis and sway back and constipation. She had her first atlas adjustment the other day, and I don't know if I even recorded it. Did I record it? I did record it, yes. And so uh, this is four days later. And so uh, tell us how things have changed over the last four days. He podido más abrir un poquito más el ojo. She could open her a little bit more. Gotcha. Uh -huh. Y antes me dolía mucho la espalda y ya no me duele. No back pain, no headache. And tell us about the dialysis too. Y del diálisis. Del diálisis, uh, sí, pues algo con dolor de cabeza, pero es el mismo que me llega de aquí del ojo, toda esta parte. Okay. What's that? ¿Me ha sido menos? Mm, menos. So she said it, it, she still comes out with a headache, but it's less. Yeah. Before. So we taught her how to lay in the recliner, and we taught her about how to relax. And but the biggest thing is that she says it's better, but she was taking drugs when she's sitting there. They yeah. give her drugs to sit in that chair for four hours because her cabeza hurts so much. And so uh, she said no medication all week. Was able to sit there at only a four out of ten pain, mm -hmm. laying, and that's the best. She was ten out of ten before. Yeah. Yes, before dolar. At dialysis before, remember that? And so she's down to a four, and that doesn't seem like a lot of improvement, 60%, but no medication now either. Yeah. So, anyways, we're happy for that. So, that was an Alice adjustment, and then her eyes start to open. So, let's get a little closer. Good. Now, uh, open your eye as much as you can. Look, so you can see her opening now, and that is like a thousand percent better. 
she can actually open it, right? Yes, and at times she can leave it open. For at times you can leave it open down. So that was all since the Atlas adjustment. So you guys don't think this, this stuff can work, but you can see the beginning video, how she couldn't even open it all, now she can open it, okay? So we're gonna go right back and do the Atlas again. You guys hear that? That was loud. <laughs> Filter right the cabeza, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was so, so, so much better. So <laughs> much better. <laughs> oh. So much better than Lunas. <laughs> But now she has to learn how to lift, use more muscle. Okay. Okay, try to open your eye. Wow. Look at the power. Good, 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 good. I love it. Ask her about her pain, her headaches now. But her eyes has been closed like this for months. Okay, so, but open your eyes now. See, look at how far they're opening now. Okay, and now with it open, we're also seeing that she's having trouble tracking her eyeball. So open your eyes and derecha izquierda. Look to the right, derecha. Now see her eyeball roll to the right? See this one roll to the right over here? Now open again, oh, now look left, Escarla. See, this one goes to the left, this one doesn't. So this medial muscle over here, this nerve that goes right here is not working. And so she can't do it. So we sent her home with exercises. She's doing 20 uh, back and forth, left and right eye motions a day, three times a day. And we're gonna adjust her again and see if we can get that turned on, which I have every confidence that's gonna turn on. It's all turning on every week that goes by, every day that goes by, she's opening. Um, tell us the funny story about the earthquake. Oh, um, she felt the earthquake and both of her eyes just opened wide, <laughs> <laughs> both at yeah. the same time. But I'm really, really happy with her progress. We get right there in the atlas. Very important to get the atlas. This is the one that's tugging up. Excellent. Wow. <sighs> Did you guys hear that? Woo-wee! Wow, that went a lot. You heard that too. Mm -hmm. I think that was the best atlas adjustment I've had on you. <laughs> Absolutely the best. Yes, the cancer is the best adjustment that she has done. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? No. No? <laughs> Checking out Virginia and her daughter walking around the building uh, to obviously recalibrate. Okay, so we're here with Virginia and uh, she's getting better. I think she's getting a lot better. We did the occiput adjustment and I think it's really made a difference. Look at her eyeballs. She doesn't even close her right eye anymore. I mean, it's it's closed, not as good as this one, but it's it was shut in the beginning. We'll do the comparison. You guys will see that in a second. But the other thing too is we talked about how her eye ball was not going left; it was only going right. And so we're going to have her show you guys how much better it is. Come a little closer. Good. And so let's do this. Good. Now look straight ahead. Open. Uh, and then derecha. And the scala. Good, Escala. Other way, Escala. Good. You can see it almost goes all the way over, and that wasn't happening before. No. Again, uh, occiput adjustment. Um, this is not a lift. This is not a yank. This is a, a set. We're setting the bone down on her condyles of her atlas. And why is that important? Because if you lift it, all you're doing is you're changing the, you're gapping the joint. You're creating, um, you're creating movement in it, but you're not putting it where it needs to be. So that's the problem with all that yanking of next guys out there and people do these occipital lifts. It's not putting where it needs to be. We're actually putting it back where it needs to be. Watch. Okay. Yeah, so she says she likes it, but she doesn't. <laughs> She's getting a lot better. Um, I am at a quandary of what to do with her. Um, 
because I know it's still neurologic and uh, we've just her occiput or atlas in the past and um, her eye is improving. You can see it, I don't know if you can see it, but her both eyes are open. But she has a little bit of lazy eye now to the right. It's still the, the right um, ciliary muscle is stronger than the left. Now she can move her eye left, but she doesn't have total control all the time. So um, I worked on her jaw last week and her jaw is sore this week. I still think part of it is the jaw, but because it's so neurologic, I'm gonna go back to the atlas, which I haven't done in months. And so we're gonna do that right now and see what ha happens right now. Um, I asked about trauma in the past and I don't see any reason for trauma. She did have a family member pass away when this all started. So there's definitely an emotional component to this, but the neurologic component is definitely structural somehow and it's not letting go. Um, I think we were about 60% there, but we're, the last 40% is kind of tough to get rid of. Her headaches are much more manageable. But again, this last neurological push is going to be a either a cr cranial issue or a function of how to relax her atlas. So anyways, <clears throat> still figuring it out with her. That's her atlas. And again, I've done this before. I didn't seem to have much help. The occiput was way better. But now that we've moved the occiput for a while, You guys heard that, right? The whole world heard that one. Woo-wee! How painful was that? She filled in her leg, huh? Okay. Left atlas on this side, too. Okay, so I was going to save this for next week, guys, but we're going to do her clavicles this time. And uh, I'm thinking that maybe some of this See how painful her face is? I don't know if you can see her face, but she don't like this at all. Maybe I start with the other side first. And so um, I do this when I have uh, a lot of patients who don't respond very well to the atlas adjustment or the neck adjustment. So uh, the clavicle is a foundation for all the muscles that go into her neck right here. So we're going to try to adjust it a little bit, see what happens. And so we're not going to go really hard. It's done here. She ain't gonna like it here. Good. Okay, we're speeding. Good. Good. See here, she loves that one. Okay. And again, by adjusting this clavicle, I've seen the patients do tons better because it relaxes all the neck muscles. That. There we go. You guys heard that one? Good. Yeah, it still hurts on the right, yeah, yeah. But there's a ton of pressure in there, and the reason I wanted to release it again is I want to have a chance for her neck to relax, so we'll see how she does in that one. Okay, so we just worked on her clavicle, and her back instantly felt better, so we know we're on the right path to a certain extent, except her eye. Go ahead and look up with your eyes. Look up. And that still hurts up here, still a two. And so we haven't affected that yet, so I'm going to try one more thing here, and we'll see if we can get it to go down a little more. Like I said, we're, the, the path we're taking is all on the right path. It's just a matter of getting it to, um, to find the exact thing that works on her. And that's the hardest part here. Yeah, this is her uh, SCM, guys. And this is the muscle that's connected to her atlas, which is connected to her clavicle, which I just adjusted. And so... Um, I'm going to see if this takes some pressure off her eyeball. Good. Okay. Tremendous tension in her oxygen. Mm. Still, even after the adjustment, tremendous tension. Cuando, cuando respire por la nariz, lo deje salir por la boca, pero no con esfuerzo, sino que solito se salga. Now yeah, like that, okay? Así. Yeah, uh -huh. okay. Respira. Exhala. Good. So this is our first thoracic adjustment, guys. And the reason I'm doing this is a 14-degree scoliosis upper back. 
I've adjusted every part of her neck, and so um, there's something still missing. Her eye is, I would say, Jesus, 80% back, but there's still, there's still some stuff going on there, so we're gonna see if this is the last little bit of, of uh, foundational work that'll help balance out her neck. Okay, next on. Good. Te duele? Poquito. Okay, uno más, uno más. Good, wow, perfect. Okay, boca arriba. Okay, painful? Yeah. So I did Atlas last time. I thought it went really good. And so I did Oxput again this time. And you can see her reaction that um, it was a little sensitive. And so why is that? Well, because it sounds like I needed to do it again. We didn't do it enough last time. Okay, I'm gonna set up on her uh, mandible here. I'm gonna get a little set here. Abre la boca. There you go. Relate, relate. Okay, yeah. that's it. You can see how much pain with that was. Uh, but look at her eyes, guys. See how her eyes are open? And uh, I've shown you videos before of her eyes closed. And now look up. Maybe look up, Reba. Reba. And so she still has pain in this, um, this when she does this. It's a five out of 10 pain. And we're always able to bring it down. So tell her where her pain is. Ask her where her pain is right now. El dolor está acá. Yeah. And so she's tons, tons, tons better. I mean, if we, if we stop treatment today, she'd be a really happy camper. But we still are having trouble finding out where her exact problem is. And I've adjusted her occiput, I've adjusted her atlas, I've adjusted every part of her neck, I've adjusted her shoulders, which everything helps. The shoulders actually help a lot. But for some reason, we're still missing something. So we're gonna try something different today, and I'm gonna do her jaw. Scared? Look at she's scared. You know, the funny thing is I've adjusted her so many different ways, and she's scared of this one. She doesn't even know what I'm doing yet. Okay, so uh, we're gonna do this because we've had trouble with her. Um, again, so many things work on her, but the it's just not lasting. So I'm gonna try this adjustment, which I have done on another patient that really, really, really was a game changer. So we're gonna give it a try on her. I even adjusted her TMJ already. So, uh, but this is a different one, okay? So open your mouth. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, good. And don't close, keep it open right now. Ask how much pain that is up there. <laughs> what, what? More up here? Gotcha. Okay, open up, up, up the book up, good. Good. Uh, where do you feel that? Up here? Si. Gotcha, good. Okay, open it, up, up, good. Now close, slowly, close. Close, 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 slow, slow. There we go. Oh, she bit her Oh. She bit her tongue? Yeah. Oh. You okay? The tongue got bit, right? Yeah. But how does this feel up here? Different? Menos dolor. Good, good. Now, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it's up. Good, perfect. Now, look up too. How's it going? Dos, tres, cuatro, tres. So it came down. So see you guys? When everybody thinks that the neck is always the issue, sometimes it can be the TMJ because the TMJ affects the neck. Okay, so we're gonna adjust her, still adjust her, but I wanted to get that adjustment and see, let you guys watch. I'm gonna adjust her shoulders here too. Okay. You have to? That's fine, I think I can get it. Good. Okay. Good. <laughs> I'm gonna adjust her lower neck. I usually do atlas and mid neck, but we've been having good success with her lower neck adjustment and these shoulder adjustments. So I'm gonna to try to repeat that down here. I haven't done it down here for a while. I've been doing it in the chair. So again, I'm just in C7, guys. Really low on her because, again, she has some kind of issue with her clavicle, her shoulder, and her ne lower neck. Drop relate. So tell her, ask her about her jogging, how it feels different. How does she feel in her mandible? Better. Better. Yes, it's still a little bit like a pinch, but now it's... Less pain. Less pain? But she said, open your mouth, open it close. And she says, 
And so what is that? How does that feel different? Yeah. So again, so you guys saw the adjustment a second ago. I just want to show you the results. Okay, good. Okay, guys, we're going to adjust her low back and she's in pain right now a little bit down here. We have not done that before. You're going to breathe in your nose, Nariz. Breathe in. Respira. Exhala. A boca. Abre la boca. Okay, respira. So we're going to just do a prone L5. Did you guys hear that? Woo! Baby. Merry Christmas. I'm working her pretty good today. Open the mouth. Abre la boca. Mas, mas, mas. Close, close. Okay. Would you tell me? Okay. Okay, open, please. Okay. Last thing. Close. There we go. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. That's a big one, guys. Big one, big one, big one, big one. Okay. Good. Okay, that's total. Respira, Nariz, there you go. Okay. A little mas. Okay. She's not relaxed this time. 